Next, we're going to apply colors, patterns, and borders to our cells. I need to be in cell A1. So remember, I can either do Control Home, and that will always take me back to A1, or I can simply scroll to the top and click inside of A1. For A1, I want to change the color and fill it with a background color. To do that, I take the paint bucket here. I'm going to click the drop down arrow and I want to select turquoise accent 2 color. So I come down through here and you'll notice that I get screen tips as to which color I'm selecting. I want turquoise accent 2. So I select that one. Now I'm going to right click inside of cell A1 and I'm going to select format cells. This allows me to do more with that particular cell that I've selected. I'm going to select the Fill tab. From here you'll see I have the color options, I have fill effects, there's pattern color and pattern style. I'm going to select pattern style and I'm going to go with 6.25 gray. I'm going to click that one and then I'm going to say OK. You'll notice that it grayed out or put dots as it appears inside of that cell. The next thing I want to do is I want to have a thick underline for this particular cell. So I'm going to select here in my font grouping. I'm going to select the borders button drop down list and I'm going to find thick bottom border and I will select it. You may not notice it until you click off that cell reference and then you'll see the dark thick bo bottom border. Next, I'm going to select the range A3 through H3. So A3 through H3, I'm going to select and I want them to all appear the same. This one, I want the font color different. So I'm going to select the drop down arrow here at the font color and I want this one to be blue accent 1. So I find blue accent 1 and I select it. Next I want to select J1 through K1. That's this information over here. So I'm going to select J1 through K1. I'm going to click the cell styles button. The cells style button is here in the styles grouping. I'm going to click cell styles and the one I want to pick is the neutral cell style. So I'll just point to them and come up with the one that tells me it is the neutral cell style. I'll make this selection and you'll see that it changes how that particular cell looks. Make sure you save your work so that you don't have to go back to do this.